Hello everybody, Chris here, and today I want to show you how you can create your own ebook covers using the Amazon Kindle Direct Publishing Cover Creator. Now, uh, this is a ebook that I've made in the past. It's 101 Tips for Role Playing Games. Yeah, that's the one. And I'm actually going to go ahead and update the cover here, so we're going to do this live. Now, if you want to add a cover in, well, after uploading your book, of course, you'll get to this screen eventually, and you'll have the option to edit you cover with the cover creator. So go ahead and hit that. And then it's gonna open up the cover creator where you're able to upload an image, add in text, organize the layout of your title and uh, the subtitles and as well as the author name. So this was the original one I came up with. And this was actually using one of their non-image designs that you can choose by default. If you go to the choose design tab, which is what you'll see originally, uh, by default, you'll have image-based designs and non-image-based designs. Uh, this image here is one that I believe I uploaded at some point but decided not to go with. If you want to add in a cover image for your book, and I would say for most ebooks, you probably want a cover image, and in general, um, you might be making that image or doing some minor edits outside of Amazon. You might be trying to do it in, let's say, uh, Photoshop or something like that. And you could, of course, do the whole cover within Photoshop. But if you want to add in a new cover image, you would go ahead and click Choose a New Cover Image. In this case, I'll be using one from my computer. So we'll go to my pictures, the downloads I've been doing, and we'll be using this image that I picked up from pixabay.com. Now, Pixabay, if you don't know about Pixabay, they have a lot of different images there, and the licenses for all of the images on the website are public domain, which means you can use them for commercial use without even attributing the author. Um, though you can tip any of the authors, which is a pretty cool idea, I think. I mean, some of these images are really cool. I like this one a lot, and it's similar to the one I used for my other uh, very similar book, 101 Tips for uh, Game Masters, I believe it was. So in this case, we have our cover image uploaded, and now we can choose between one of these default designs. Now, you might be wondering about the background colors you see here, that's all customizable. Uh, first, you gotta choose a base design, and then there are more designs under each design. So these are like general layouts, like this one is basically, you'll have a full image without any backgrounds for the text, um, and you can lay out the text in different ways. This one over here, I mean, you can see it's gonna have a lot of text at the top, a big box for that, and then a small box for the image itself. So I'm thinking, I probably want to go with this one since it's consistent with my other design. And then we can choose colors, layout, and the font choice. So if we go to layout, uh, as I mentioned, even though we have this base design here, we can customize it a bit by choosing different layouts. And you do want to play around with this because um, it'll help you find a layout that's actually good for your ebook. I'm still just kind of flipping through here, figuring things out. I think. Actually, one of these two might be pretty good. Let me see this one, this one, this one. Now, I'd actually like to not cover the tunnel totally if possible. And I'd probably prefer to have my name at the bottom here. Mm. Well, what I can do is add a enter space here or a couple ones even. Yeah, I think one is good to uh, basically uh, reposition the text a little bit you get the idea here now let's go ahead and choose some colors uh, i mean there's not really much to choose here we probably want to leave it as white i mean obviously it's going to be white because black text is not going to show at all here so we'll just leave that as the default but if you have those background boxes to surround your text then of course you can choose a background color you can choose an accent color um i think this is looking pretty good we'll save that uh just to note here you can of course change the fonts Though I'm not going to play around with that right here, but each of these sets of fonts uh, work pretty well together. They are basically like a font family. So you're going to have a good looking title, a good looking subtitle, and a good looking author name. But we'll just save with this. Go ahead and hit the preview button to see what it's actually going to look like once it's uh, officially your image. It may take a second to upload, especially if you're uploading your own image to the website. So let's just give it a minute here. It's building the cover and yeah, that's pretty much what we have there. So we'll go ahead 
and save this image for future use. Um, in case you need to use the cover image outside of Amazon. And for Amazon itself, all we need to do now is hit save and submit. Uh, one thing though, you can preview it in other methods. For instance, if you wanna see what it looks like in grayscale, and you can also see like a thumbnail version of your ebook. So that's really all there is to creating your own ebook cover without having to pay anybody uh, using the cover images. I would point out though that when you do go to choose your image, Amazon does provide some of its own internal stock images that you can use. You don't necessarily have to go grab your own image, but this is very easy to use. It's pretty simple to create at least a fairly competent looking ebook cover. And I do recommend you go ahead and try it if you haven't already. So I've been Chris, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.